How many of you have creditors and credits in different places? And they give you a grace period. If you have a, a bill that needs to be paid on the first of the month, a grace lasts majority of the time to give you until the tenth of the month to pay that. That's a grace. But that bill should have been paid on the first. I remember some years ago when I was driving a limousine. I was coming from the airport trying to get back to work, my wife and I, and dropped someone off. And I got pulled over. When I looked in the mirror, I saw the blue light following me. And I said, Lord, have mercy. And Brenda said, what's wrong? I said, they got me. Because I knew that I was wrong. And when they pulled me over, I said in the car, state trooper got out and walked up to me and said, uh, sir, do you know why I put you over? So I didn't tell the lie. I said, yes, I, I was speeding a little bit. So he walked back to his car. And he didn't ask me to get out and get in the back seat. And I thank God for that. But when he came back to the car, he had a white piece of paper in his hand, still pink, pink slip. He told me to slow down, and he realized that I was driving the limousine and I was working. And what that was, he gave me <laughs> a warning ticket. A warning ticket, I was guilty. I was guilty at yours. But he gave me a grace. He had mercy on me, and I thank God for that. Because I was wrong, and all of us have been wrong, and came short of the glory of God. What that means, we all have sinned and came short of the glory of God. And I thank God for his mercy on this day. Show sure up many times, his grace has saved me. I remember when I was in Willow Creek, I went in the hospital for one thing and they found other things wrong with me. And I laid in and I told my wife, I said, don't worry. But I was speaking of devil when I was telling her not to worry. I said that uh, I'm all right. Everything is all right. Because I knew my relationship with God was solid. My wife began to cry and tell me don't say that because she knew that I was speaking of them. The Lord have mercy right now. Because of God's grace, I am here. I have been talked about, scandalized, because I have been like a lot of folks. I have came to Christ and knew his word and backslid. But I thank God for his grace and his mercy that he remained to keep his hand in my hand and pulled me back. And I said, glory unto God. When I was home this morning preparing for this sermon and I was in prayer, I began to cry. Because I looked back over the years and the things that I have done. I have not been a perfect individual like most of you might claim to have been. Because of his grace, because of his mercy, he saved me. Not by the works that any man shall boast. We are saved by grace. Lord, have mercy right now. I thank God for his holy word. Because as long as I stay in his word, his word remains in me. I thank God for him being a holy God. Because of his grace, he left his seat in glory. He came down for the end two generations. Walked on this earth for 33 years. Lord, have mercy right now. For a little son like me. Not only for me, but for each and every one of you. For those of you who know that you have been a son and know that you have been saved by grace. You ought to say hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory right now. You are going to raise your hand in front of that television or through your device or whatever the case may be. You are to begin to praise God for saving you. Thank God for His grace. Because of grace and by grace, you are saved. But nothing 
that you have done, you can have work for that. Many of folks, folks can't enough appreciate or click. Say, I'm not under the law anymore. I'm under grace. We're under grace, not under the law anymore. No but the Ten Commandments still is in force. The word lets me know that Jesus said, He gave us two commandments, which they kind of found both in there. Love thy neighbor as thyself. The second I can do the first one. Lord, have mercy. It tells you to love God. You have to love God, you have to love your neighbor. The first four commandments tell you how to love and honor God. The last six tell you how to love your neighbor. Thou shalt honor thy father and thy mother. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not cover. All of these is crude in the Ten Commandments. But grace by grace are you saved through faith. You have to believe it. Through faith that God is God. Through faith once we believe that God is God and God is the Son of God that God came to save the little wretch like me. And I say hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. I feel good this morning. Because I know I have a Savior that loves me. Because of his grace, he gave his life for me. And for that, I just want to say, have mercy right now. And I just want to thank you. I have done many things wrong. When I look back over the years, I say, thank you, God, for your grace. When I have been sick and got healed, I say, thank you, Jesus, for your grace. When I look at my family members that have gone on, I say, thank you, Jesus, for your grace, because a lot of folks look at death as a bad thing. Death can be a, a savior. What I mean by that, we have so many things in our body that is wrong. And we will pray for healing. I did a eulogy not too long ago, and my subject was, the healing. Because we pray for an individual in our family to be delivered, be delivered, to be healed, and to be set free. And death is a prayer answer. When a person dies, they don't hurt no more. They're not sick no more. And we say, Lord, have mercy on them. God is a good God. He is a merciful God. He is a graceful God. And if you sit down right now and examine yourself, you will see that God has blessed you by grace. Because there's nothing that you have done. I mean, mean nothing that you have done. I look back in my earlier years, when I was at Fair State University, how my roommate and I who shared a apartment together, the life that I lived, I just thank God that we didn't get caught in the wrong doing that we were doing. And you know, some years ago after that, we lost contact. I was in Hampton University Minister Conference. And as I was walking through the campus, I saw a guy that looked familiar. Only thing that was different was he had gray hair. But so did I. And we kind of, uh, Reverend Jackson and I kind of worked our way over to the pastor because we knew his pastor. And found out that he was preaching the word of God. And he now was a sacrifice moderator of that association. And so was I. We began to praise God. Say, God is a grace of God. Because we knew exactly what we had been through and what God had brought us to by his grace. We cannot find fault in nobody. Because we all have been saved by grace. Have mercy right now. Because of his grace, I am here right now. Because I know where he brought me through. Folks that talked about me and scandalized my name. I know one individual talked about me so kind of bad, but that was all right. Because I was on the covenant of God. But when he was going to die in me, he called for Reverend Marshall Thompson to come to his bedside. And I prayed for him and prayed with him. And he accepted Christ before he left him. We have to be mindful 
how we treat people. Let's be mindful of God. The Bible lets us know, beware how you entertain strangers, because we might be entertaining angels on the road. I praise God for His grace. And I thank God for the sound individual and the video individual that's working on today. They didn't have to be here to record a little old man. But I thank God for His grace. I thank God for His mercy. I feel good right now because I am a child of God and they know I have been delivered. I have been delivered by His grace. Lord, have mercy right now. If you were saved this morning and know that you were saved, you ought to stand up and say hallelujah and raise your hand. I don't care if you're in a crowd or in a house by yourself or riding in your car listening to this message. Shout hallelujah! I thank God for saving me. It was a man some years ago by the name of John Henry Newton, a slave trader. He was bringing slaves from Africa on a shipwreck. So he made his way to the shore and was sitting by a tree and began to meditate and began to thank God. And he began to peel us on. Amazing grace, how sweet that sound, that has saved a wretch like me. I was lost, but now I'm found. I was lost, but now I am found. Because of his amazing grace. I thank God this morning. Many of you out there know if you are born again, child of God. Not because you was a deacon, not because you was a preacher, not because you was a teacher, not because you was a mother, that you have known within your heart that you have been saved by grace. Lord, have mercy right now. And if you're in that situation right now, I am having a call to worship right now, a call to come forth. And if you don't know that number, to best grow missionary church. It's 7919 Monday morning, call that number. If you don't remember that number, call Marshall Thompson number. 919 Have mercy right now. Because come to Christ. I am begging you. I am crying to you. I am sorry to you. Come to Jesus. It's nothing that you have to do. Just have faith. And you will be saved by grace. For those of you that do not know Jesus Christ, in a part of your sin, I'm asking you right now, and I'm begging you right now, I'm crying right now, I'm pleading right now, please come forth. God's grace will meet you there. God's grace will meet you there. God's grace will meet you there. Just call those numbers. 919-735-2274. That's Best Road Missionary Baptist Church. Call Reverend Thompson. 919-222-1959. And someone will meet you at the church. Or I will meet you at the church. Please come. Through the storms, through the rain. Through the rain. Know, just long, long, always will talk, stand up, speak up, shut up, and sit down. Our grace will meet you there. Just come as you are. Come on to me, all you that labor here and there, and I will give you a rest. Take my yoke upon you, learn me, for I am meek and lower air for God's 
years. He came through 40 and two generations. Just like you and I have the rest of the red hand. And he's coming back. He's looking for a church without spotting anything. The angel's still gazing up. They ask him why, the angel asks him why, man. Are you gazing up? That same God that you see going up. That same God is coming back. Lord, have mercy. Thank God for his grace.